live from the sewers, this is the Turtle Power Podcast. This is your audio source for all the news, reviews, and insight into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now join your hosts, Brian, Alex, and Darby. Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Excellent! Now it's time for the Turtle Power Podcast. So Raph is a chick, right? Well, yeah, so is Mikey. Well, I mean, well, yeah, no, Mikey was. I just, I mean, Raph was. No, Raph was one of those SJW chicks that has like dude hair and wants to be treated like a dude. Uh, are we recording yet or no? Yes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another episode of the Turn of Power podcast. This is the greatest opening ever. Uh, it's always a little, little challenge to uh, get together and record, but uh, I am out of town. So I got nothing else to do to, than to uh, call up my buds and talk turtles. So guys, welcome Once back. Once again, we are Ryan's last resort to <laughs> any entertainment <laughs> whatsoever. Yes. Can't believe we come second to your baby. What's wrong? Oh, with you, oh God. No, we don't even come second. We're like 17th on his list. He, <laughs> he, yeah. Yeah. You guys are always um, number one in my Heart? No, that doesn't work either. Um, no, no. It, uh, you're, you're. Ryan's the... pretty much been dead to me since he turned me down to be the best man at his wedding. I, I, he's pretty much been dead to me. Since. Oh my god, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Alex didn't even get to be in the wedding. We 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 had only just started being friends. Yeah, we we just started dating. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Yes. Yeah, it took just a while to find that one out. <laughs> but uh, but Alex I, did. I do make... remember Darby getting completely hammered during the wedding. I think it was during the wedding, or was that during the bachelor party? Oh, the bachelor or was it party? Both? Bachelor, both. yeah, because you came for the well, bachelor party. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you came to the bachelor. Anyway, party. tangent. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, we are back to talk turtles once again. Uh, this is going to be mm-hmm. episode fifty-two, oh, that's three. That's somewhere in there. Uh, I'm currently in Boston. Um, there's no, no real turtle connections here, but um, <laughs> uh, and nothing I, against the city of Boston. I just I visited it once for three hours and got my identity stolen. That's all I know about that city. Your whole identity? Wow. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why. Like maybe they'll do something with my life. I don't know. <laughs> maybe they'll do something with your life. <laughs> nice, nice. That's good. Uh, it's a way to stay positive about the situation. Um, Alex, I know you, you've been busy, man. I know you've been busy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, working a lot and, uh, I got a baby on the way. So there's that. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I, I, um, I Anything realized, having I realized Alex that, um, Jessica and I are very lucky in the fact that we have been able to be there for Basically, like the, some of the biggest moments of of you and Lindsay's uh, lives together, we were I mean, there for the first, proposal. First time we had sex, the, I, right? Yeah. Yep. The well, yeah. I mean, if you want to go all the way back to the beginning, I mean, huh. yeah. Uh, first, but you were, yeah, yeah, yeah. First insertion. You were there for the proposal. First, yeah, yeah, first the, insertion. So, this is um, just a great emotional circle jerk, gentlemen. As much as I'm loving it. <laughs> Uh, yes, propo- <laughs> proposal, marriage, uh, baby, yep. baby yep. announcement. So, oh. yep, yep. No, well, we were there for for your for for your wedding, and uh, we were we knew you when you guys proposed. And we knew you. It's same same basically the same thing. Yeah. So there you go. 
Yes, uh, and, and first insertion as well. Dar, Dar, and Darby's getting high. No, Dar, Dar, Darby was there for first insertion. Oh, Darby was. Dar, Darby saw the Ocho. Yeah, I was, I was there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Try to block some memories out and they just keep popping back up. Oh, man. Uh, well, so yes, this is episode 53, I just confirmed, of the Turtle Power Podcast. Uh, there is not a whole lot of uh, stuff going on in the turtle verse, but uh, Alex did remind me that, uh, remind us, I should say, that uh, we're yeah, I kind, of, kind of celebrating our, uh, our fifth anniversary here at the Turtle Power Podcast. Alex so. is obviously the chick of the group because he remembered the anniversary. Look, it was Facebook. It was a post that I posted on Facebook five years ago. Okay, ah. so I... <laughs> I'm not going to take full credit for it. It's not like I have Alex is obviously a chick because he's still on Facebook. It's not. Look, I'm on. Look, I have Facebook, <laughs> Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. He's got okay, all the social have, medias. So got, you are the chick. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I use absolutely all of them except for Twitter. Alex is like, I'm going to prove you wrong by proving you right. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, <laughs> I have yet. Look, there's. There's I no have given you being plugged in. I have given you grief over your hashtag usage before <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> oh God, yeah, it, it, it can get bad sometimes. <laughs> Whatever, man. Look, hashtag Instagram, hashtag Instagram this, hashtag you know fiddly d and fiddly dot. It, look, <laughs> hashtag summer, hashtag fuck me, hashtag, yeah, you know it, has, it, it gets over. Hashtag board. dogs in summer, <laughs> hashtag Go dogs. Fuck <laughs> Go fuck yourself, right? <laughs> Hashtag tacos. <laughs> yeah, no, those are all yes. Go fuck yourselves. Every single one. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, uh, it, well, don't 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 fuck with me for fucking using Instagram the proper way, you asshole. <laughs> you do a, you, your Instagram game is on point. I, I must say. Thank you. Yes. Uh, um. So, <laughs> as such, we. <laughs> <laughs> we will uh, do a little bit of a retrospective on uh, on the, the show's history, but uh, we'll save that for our main discussion of the show. The authorities won't talk to us, but they might talk to a TV news reporter. How do I look? Uh, great. General, April O'Neil, Channel 9 News. Uh, Channel 6 News. So, what's with the getup? You a news reporter? <laughs> In another lifetime, maybe. This is April O'Neil, Channel 6 News. April O'Neil, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. This is April O'Neil, Channel 3 News. Uh, I say fuck the rest. Just fuck the rest, man. Let's just talk about that. <laughs> Let's, just... Let's just talk about <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of okay with that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well... It's like I said. There's not a lot of go, a lot going on in the in the uh, in the team. You know what's funny right is you say there's not a lot going on. You, you still he stretches it out for like two right. and a half hours. This 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 motherfucker, okay, manages to make 21 pages of notes <laughs> no, no, when there's nothing no. going on. The 21. It, look, I know. It only. I know. I was wondering that myself. And it's not even like ridiculous font size. It's actually, it's probably like no, 12. Well, it's, it's 12. Single space. Yeah. 12, single space. It's 12 pages, okay? <laughs> there's 12 pages and there's some big pictures in here, okay? So a lot of space. We're, we're come on. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's, let's go ahead and uh, get into, it's not really video game news, but it's gaming news. And uh, so, let, let, <laughs> upper got, inflection. It's gaming news. <laughs> it's gaming oh, news. Uh, TMNT Shadows of the Past, uh, the board game uh, from IDW. Um, this is a update to that with a uh, Casey Jones Adventure Hero Pack. It's going to be uh, going for seventeen ninety nine. Uh, just keep in mind, you need the Shadows of the Past uh, base game um, if if you're interested in get this, or or if you just want to get the you know, the little Casey Jones plastic miniature and little custom die and character sheet and 
adventure comic. You can just have those. I guess you can do that, but um, you can't play it by itself. So um, you could. Yeah. Well, you could. I mean, it's a, basically a little action figure, so you can. You know, right. I mean, well, you could. I mean, you can, screw this. Don't game say you can't. Just, you just can't play that specific game. That's true. Because Ryan, like, met his soulmate at 15 years old, doesn't mean like other people can't do things by themselves. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, uh, I do I, I do miss my wife very much <laughs> being, being here I really do I can't help it <laughs> God I wish I was high right now this is it would be, it would be so much better <laughs> gosh man oh. you just gotta join Go Darby in, in Denver no yeah <laughs> Uh, I, I'm I, I got a contact just from just from talking to Darby, even though he's <laughs> he's got a, he's got a uh, internet contact guy from Darby. <laughs> uh, all right, Which, so, kudos on the internet, by the way. Kudos, you haven't, yes. you haven't dropped yet. So Darby uh-huh. recently moved. Uh, not too recently. It's been it's been a minute, but uh, yeah, this is uh, I think the first usage of your internet on the show, and it's it's performing quite admirably, I must say. So. Yay! <laughs> and with That's that, rejoicing. Yay. let's go into TV news. Uh, so, just a couple of uh, t- tidbits here. Uh, we've got an interview with uh, Greg Sipes over at uh, from WonderCon 2017. Uh, this is from the uh, good folks at TeenageMutantNinjaTurtles.com. Uh, as always, links in the show notes. Uh, I got I to gotta say real quick, yeah. uh, Greg Sipes is uh, quickly becoming one of my uh, favorite uh, turtle voice actors of all time. He's just so committed to the role. Mm. Um, and he's just slowly taking, I, mean, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really digging Greg And you know, I, I hated him at first. Yeah, and uh, I'm really, really digging him. Like I'm, I'm flat out in bed with him right now. He's, he's. <laughs> I don't know. Man. He, I just, he I is, just he... like how much he's, he's just taken over and just, it just becoming part of. Like he's, he's accepted the role and he's become Michelangelo even outside of. Yeah, and I, the studio. Yeah, I think that's really it. I think if I would say of every single actor who's ever played any turtle. He may be the closest to his turtle, more than any other mm-hmm. person. I mean, he, yeah. he he is Michelangelo. Let's let's just yeah. let's just call it what it is. I mean, the dude does martial yeah. arts. He's like super like chill. Just want to like, hey man, let's just party. So yeah, yeah he is. And a, he's his Instagram is phenomenal, man. Like the the he's a hippie, flat out, no oh, yeah. doubt. But yeah, uh, yeah, and his hashtag game is on point. Just, <laughs> just saying. Uh, just saying. <laughs> Hashtag just saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is like 2005 right now. <laughs> Our friend Tiger Claw 305 on Twitter. He says uh, it looks like John Boyega will be the voice of Usagi in the three episodes of the uh, Nick Turtles series. Uh, and this really is- happy to read that. Really glad John Boyega is finally getting that big break, that exposure to mainstream audiences with this big role of Usagi or Jimbo. Hey, you know, hey, you I'm know. guessing, I'm guessing he probably like he probably got a heads up from from Mark because. But but yeah. will it be a black Usagi or a white Usagi? It's a it's a white Usagi. Oh, okay. I well, thought I mean, it was an Asian yes. Usagi. <laughs> yeah, touche. Touche. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, just saying. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, I wonder. It, I wonder if they're gonna if they're gonna drop any any Star Wars like references and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Yeah, you never know. No, what they need to do is uh, drop a uh, Attack the Block reference. Like they need one of those. <laughs> okay, because yeah. that was the movie that introduced me to John Boyega. Oh, Attack gosh. the Block. Are you pulling a, I, I was a fan of John Boyega before any of you people were fans of oh, John no, Boyega? Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. That's what no, it sounds when like. When I heard that he got yes, cast in Star yes, Wars, is. I was like, oh, I know him from Attack the Block, and that's it. He was great in that movie. I think he can be, like, badass, because he was in Attack the Block. Mm. Go watch Attack the Block. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a great movie. Okay. 
Yeah, it, it's a great movie. What, what, what did it do in the box yeah. office? Like a million? Like nobody watched yeah. Attack the Block. Doesn't matter. It was brilliant. What was brilliant about it? I, I have no idea. Everything. I've never even heard of this fucking movie. Oh, that's a shame. You should really check it out because I'm looking brilliant. at pic- I'm looking at pictures. Is, is it kind of like Warriors? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway, getting sidetracked again. <laughs> Um, Damn it. Let's see. Uh, we did a little thing uh, on our last episode where we went over some of the uh, Splinter uh, Wednesday Wisdom <laughs> messages. Yeah. Uh, let, yeah. So, uh, we've got a couple more. Uh, Those are amazing, by the way. They are, they are pretty amazing. Okay, here we go. So, it is dangerous to poke a sleeping tiger. It is more dangerous to interrupt a meditating rat. Hmm. Uh, you know, I think I'd, I'll take my chances with the rat. Yeah, uh, likewise. <laughs> Wherever you go, your shell goes with you. There you are. <laughs> Wherever you go, your shell goes with you. Um, if you're a turtle, yes, I guess. Um, I, I, we don't, I mean, we don't have shells, so. Um, it is, Thank you for that. I wasn't it, sure. <laughs> it is no use <laughs> crying over moldy pizza. See, mm. uh, okay, so here, 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 real quick, I have no idea what you're talking about because I'm still on Attack the Block. So, <laughs> what are you doing? We're doing Splinter Weekly Wisdom Wednesday quotes. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, yes. gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. These Brian are, signed oh, you know, up to get that. Splinter, no, shut up, Darby. Splinter texts me every week personally with these wisdom lines of wisdom. Uh-huh. Full of look, wisdom. Look, <laughs> I get it. Look, 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 I get it. There's, it's, it's branding and images to maintain, but God forbid you actually get actual words of wisdom from Master Splinter. You know, I, I am getting like, words of wisdom from God Master Splinter forbid. right here. This is directly. No, it, mean, it says like, directly actual, from Splinter. Like, why not actual quotes of wisdom from Master Splinter? Do I respect Master Splinter too much in that I expect him to actually give me words of wisdom instead of talking about moldy pizza? For some reason, he also texted me, text, stop to quit. Um, I don't know what... what he also it, texted you, stop sending me dick pics. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, get, we have two more. Know your strengths, whether it is physical strength, a strong mind, or even a strong stomach. It's like a shitty, like, fortune cookie. <laughs> uh, they're, they're very long. Long fortune cookies. All right, last one. Wisdom is like cheese. It will age well with care. But exactly. will grow moldy make... with heat and impatience. That one's actually, like, like, too bad. These are geared for kids. Do they realize <laughs> what the attention span that. is for kids? Like, come on. I'm not a kid, Fuck and man. he texted this to me. Alex, what are you trying to come say? On. He's, He's true fucking right? man child. That's, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Which is okay, because so am I, but I'm just saying. <laughs> God, I just want actual words of wisdom. Is that too much to ask for? Yes. Come like, on, Nickelodeon. Get your so, shit together. So, so, you, so you want an adult adult Splinter to text you, is what you want. Well, I mean, I mean could... he's Master Splinter. I'm sorry. He's supposed to teach us, like, wisdom. <laughs> and and that, that shit ain't wisdom. <laughs> Well, yeah, obviously yeah, it's not it, wisdom. It's, yeah, yeah, it, but I don't know. Yeah. It was just a maybe a ver- different version to sign up for. I don't know. Maybe I'm just expecting too much from Master Splinter. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, last thing we wanted to talk about on TV news was the summer short. Uh, from, well, the first one, anyway. So it's the only one we've seen. Um, so if you remember last year, Nickelodeon came out with these series of uh, shorts that were made by different creators. Um, they were kind of <laughs> given free reign to basically make whatever they wanted uh, and then utilize whatever voice actors they wanted. And Well, this one is, is actually pretty... You, you said it too, Alex, is, is pretty reminiscent of, uh, of Fast, Fast Forward. Forward. Mm-hmm. The two K three, uh, the the two seasons of the two K three series, um, mm-hmm. I, I definitely got that feeling right away. It, it's this one set in what does it say twenty ninety? Twenty ninety, yeah. 
Um, so it's entitled Teenage Mecha Ninja Turtles. So you can guess out of the name what, what it's, what's going on here. But uh, um, It's a Michael Bay production. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's actually kind of decent. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So I uh, look forward to uh, checking these out uh, for the rest of the summer. Well, not the rest of the summer, at least for the next couple of weeks. Um, the uh, the series itself has been on a slight hiatus. The last episode came out April 9th. That I think basically ended the Cavaxis storyline. So um, We've got the next episode. Uh, actually, it's a two-parter, When Worlds Collide. That is uh, scheduled for June 18th. So as we're recording this, not this weekend, but the following weekend. So, um, yeah, the uh, the season five is um, started off interestingly. I, I'll say it's been an interesting, been an interesting season so far. Which I mean, I know they're they're you know tales of the TMNT. That's they're kind of doing that on purpose, but. Uh, uh, I like the Cavaxis storyline, so um, we'll see if they go anywhere with it, and you know, with the rest of the uh, the season. But uh, but it uh, looks like that's it for now. So let's uh, move out of TV news and into collecting news. From Playmates. So we've uh, we've talked about these NECA 1990 turtles uh, previously. They are now starting to be released. The, you're looking at around a hundred dollars each, uh, and we've got links to all four turtles over at Entertainment Earth, uh, where you can uh, either order or pre-order. Um, I mean, these things look fantastic. I, I love this this last photo we've got on here. Um, I think actually NECA uh, sent this out. <laughs> Uh, with Donnie I mean, and Raph. It looks Donnie's, like <laughs> Donnie's the cheapest. I'm sorry. I just uh, out there. Like they I mean they they just <laughs> hey, look so good. Me. They they look so good. I mean these these They do look great. They they look unbelievable. Um they're let's see. I think they're they're oh yeah, one quarter scale. So I mean they're they're fairly big. I think they're um I think they're around uh maybe like fourteen inches tall or something like that, but mm-hmm. Yeah, they look they look absolutely fantastic. Now, do they? I'm trying. I'm trying to look at the accessories they come with, um, and I can't tell because the Donnie's like, or I'm sorry, not the Donnie. Uh, the Mikey's like posed with a with a bag of pork rinds, yeah. which is fantastic. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I, I think they have like all these little additional. Accessories I guess your question is, does he actually get the pork rinds? Do you actually <laughs> get rinds with this? <laughs> that's my, it's a legitimate question. Yeah. Would you rather have the pork rinds or the nunchucks? I'd I'd rather have both for a hundred dollars. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Uh, I it looks like it. I mean, I don't think they would make a tiny bag of pork rinds just for the photo, but I mean, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm, that's I'm like trying to figure out because there's I'm multiple. To figure out why Donnie Don, Donnie's so so much cheaper. I mean, not so much as three dollars, but why is Donnie so much cheaper or yeah. just cheaper in general? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> The, you never know with these things. The prices move around a little bit. Um, yep. But uh, speaking of, of prices, uh, this uh, this other uh, item, it's interesting because we're coming on to uh, San Diego Comic-Con <coughs> just in a couple weeks. And all of these items that were announced then are all starting to come out now. And I, I've noticed as I was going through our, uh, our old shows that... Um, that that's a it seems to be a, a trend that uh, it takes basically a year for these things to come out. So uh, this is another item that was um, that was introduced at that uh, Comic Con last year. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic Leonardo full size. <laughs> so here's the thing: foam figure it's... prop replica releasing now, only around nine hundred fifty to one thousand dollars. So it's listed at nine fifty on on toywiz dot com. Yep. Uh, and by the way, there's only two available. Uh, but anytime, like I'm Some looking at a figure kids. and it's, yeah, and, and it says this pre order requires a four hundred and fifty non refundable down payment. No. I'm immediately checked out. Like I checked out. I'm done. Like <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. 
you know, I, I can buy, uh, you know, a, a small high mileage old vehicle for $950. Um, and uh, I'd much rather uh, own that than, uh, than own a, uh, a life-sized Leo. Sorry, that's just, that's just me. 450 non-refundable. Screw you. Non-refundable. 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 So you, you, you can't change your mind because it's non-refundable. You're out $450 if you change your mind. So or after you, can't you come sober up, with the rest. up, you realize yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can't cancel that or get your money back. Yep, you're, you're basically fine. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. It says Leo is made of hand-painted foam rubber and latex and is authentically detailed down to the katana holder on the back of his belt. Ships in two boxes, very simply, uh, very simple assembly required. Um, uh, how authentically detailed? I mean, are we talking here? Is, I mean, it's an, I don't it's think an it's old animated authentic. series, I mean, so like, right. I don't know. <laughs> well, it looks okay. I mean, it just oh, two hundred and fifty pounds, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nine hundred and fifty dollars. I, th- I bet you it's it. I mean, this is not including shipping. I can't imagine that it is. I would so, hope it would be free shipping. Let me go ahead and add this. Let me go ahead and add this to cart. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh my god! Where is this going? Please accidentally <laughs> buy it. Four hundred fifty dollar <laughs> fun Here we go. Check out now. Hey, you can get five percent off. Get five percent off. At least get five percent. I would think for a thousand dollars, you get free shipping. I would uh, think. Yeah, yeah, freaking better. Uh, let's see. I'm just curious. You guys can go ahead. I'll, I'll let this you is, know once I get there. Yeah, I, I'll, I should mention <laughs> this is also made by NECA, which is interesting. I mean, they're I mean, two totally different. Holy uh, goodness! Okay, so shipping. Uh, <laughs> so if you if, if if let's just say you don't want to do rush, which is three to five days, let's go four to seven. Shipping is going to add on an additional two hundred and twenty dollars. Oh, nice. Man. <laughs> you can't get that uh, Prime. Nah. You can't get that Amazon Prime. No. Yeah. I mean, no, it, it's it's not prime. So not <laughs> what if you do it around the Christmas season? Then you can get that two day <laughs> free shipping around Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, you, all you gotta do is fork out the nine fifty. It's a good call. Yeah. There you go. Same. So that's available uh, if uh, if anybody's interested. Yep. Let um, us know if you buy it though, for real. Like if you yeah. if you do purchase it, yeah. we want to know. God bless you. <laughs> I also want to know what you were on when you bought it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Some people just got money. Some people just got I money. know. Please hire me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, the next thing I got here on the list is it's an interesting collectible. I actually know Tom Spina from his work uh, with the Star Wars franchise. Uh, he was. Oh, wait, the... wait. Is this you saying I knew Tom Spina before he was popular? No, I don't actually know old? him. Is that, is that I, I, I don't, I don't okay. know him. I, I'm, I know of him. Uh, but uh, he's he's been on Rebel Force Radio. I do know them, so uh, he's been on there a couple times. But uh, so basically, what his his company does is <laughs> they make uh, they make all kinds of um, custom uh, franchise inspired um, home furnishings. Let's call it that. And uh, this one, he, he they made a, a turtles themed desk. A, uh, so it basically, it's it's it looks like a giant uh, block of concrete, right? That that part of it is is broken away, and you can see inside into the sewer, and you can see the baby turtles walking in the ooze. And basically, got the gist of that. So I, yeah, it, it's it's I mean it's cool looking. I just don't know like why you, like what business you'd be in for that well, desk. The, Any business, I mean, Google. The, well, this would be like um, for this would be like for like a Kevin or a Peter because uh, yeah. Tom's stuff is just say if you have to ask what the price is, you can't afford it. It's exactly it, yeah. yeah yeah definitely. I mean, their their stuff is is I'm I'm looking through his portfolio. He's got like a, a Hans. A, like uh, in carbon in the carbonite desk. Yeah, that's actually that is. item is what kind of got him famous. Was that was that yeah. item? Yep. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, he's he does he's he used to work on the um, 
audio animatronics and stuff for the for the movies. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you can see he's done projects where he's done costume restorations for the turtles yep. um, in the past as well. So yeah, his his uh, he knows his stuff. No doubt about it. Uh, let's see what do we got here next. Oh, yeah, pizza so, monster. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> that is in no way uh, copyright infringement on another <laughs> franchise. So this is yeah this is a very interesting situation. So this is also made by NECA, and this is um, I mean you can see right on sewer mutagen warrior alien. So it's it's the aliens franchise. However, it is it's almost like an homage to an homage because when the uh, the the pizza aliens were in the original animated series. They were a knockoff of Aliens, right? Mm-hmm. And the and now Aliens is doing a knockoff of the Alien that was in Ninja Turtles, which was a knockoff of Aliens. So uh, this is only going to be available at San Diego Comic Con, three thousand pieces. You have to be in the Alien Club, which is apparently the way you get into an into the Alien Club is you have to purchase do like a bulk purchase of the alien action figures so you have to have already purchased one of those and then you can be eligible to purchase this at san diego comic-con only uh and like so there's only three thousand or you just buy one alien action figure and then you paint it yellow and then you're good well yeah i guess that's an option (laughs) so hold on then (laughs) there's an alien like (laughs) you how many did you say they had they had 3500 3000 Thirty thousand. Three. Thirty thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Okay. So they ex- they expect three thousand uh, alien club members to. Sp- well, just that's walk kind of, that's where see that's where my head was at. I was like, where? There 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 really I mean, that many? Maybe maybe it is a thing. No, maybe it is. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I mean, uh, I, I'm uh, I'm somewhat ignorant to it. I I really don't know. I have no clue. Is there really that much of a following for aliens? Because I just don't see it. Yeah. I, I mean, don't see it. Prometheus is, you know, they're kind of bringing it, they've been bringing it back. I mean, I know, I, I know, but I mean, I just don't see, I mean, cause you think of like Star Wars, you think of Star Trek, you think of, uh, of the turtles, you think of, you know, uh, pretty much anything Marvel and DC does and whatever, the, you know, it, it, anyway, these franchises. And then you think nobody really aliens is kind of swept under the rug. So to think that there's this no, massive not. following. Yes, it is. Yeah. It absolutely is in comparison. Oh my god! You think Absolutely. so, homie? That's cool. <laughs> no, I know so, homie. So, <laughs> it, it, I mean, it, it, yeah. yeah so, am, well, am I wrong? I get a, it's I a very a popular franchise. It's very popular. Sure. I, mean, I don't you know, know if I'm, it would have had three thousand. Uh, I, I get I what I you're saying. I don't, but I'm I don't also know that, it's that a very it has popular the, franchise. I don't know that it has a fan base like any one of the others. Just, I, just, I think there's I mean, a lot yeah. more like <clears throat> the alien movies attract a more casual audience. Sure, I, I, but I mean, can a, we all agree a on casual, that? Casual, a, a casual person isn't going to be part of the alien club. And that's where, yeah, that I, yeah, I think that's really what we're talking about here is, and then so if there's this. This requirement. I just don't think they'd all that, go to San Diego at the same time. In, in right, and that's the other part. It's, right. it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, but I, I it, some. It doesn't seem like it all adds up. So you might see a couple of these go on sale afterwards, but we'll see. Um, eBay. Speaking of NECA and San Diego Comic Con, this little news bit definitely got the uh, the internet uh, fired up. And I will say that this set here is, it's, I would say the, the hype is justified. $200, which sounds like a lot, but let's talk about what you're getting here. Four turtles, Shredder, Krang, with Robot Walker, two foot soldiers. This is the 87 uh, animated turtles. Each turtle stands throughout six inches tall shredder and the foot soldiers stand around seven inches tall limited to five thousand pieces and this will be available for pre-order 
if you're going to Comic-Con or if you're not going to Comic-Con, you can still order on their website. Write this date down, June 20th. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go on to the NECA website and refresh all day, I guess, if you really want to try to get these and you're not going to Comic-Con. And, uh, and you're going to be able to purchase this. And this set is unbelievable. Uh, guys, have you, have you uh, taken a look at the, the pictures from this set? I, yeah. I, I, even for 200 bucks, I, I'd be down for this. This seems yeah. pretty reasonable. Uh, yeah, what, I, you know, most of these action figure things usually are. Yeah, I, I think that's I think that's the kicker here is the it's reasonable, it, which you don't see. <laughs> you really don't see that too often. So, um, I mean, lots of of, uh, of bonus little items here as well. Uh, we've got uh, the turtle com. We've got all kinds of different hands. We've got pizza. We've got. Uh, it looks like that might be a uh, the. Is that like a the little grappling hook? Oh, that's uh, a grappling show. hook. Yeah, grappling. Why it's near yeah. Mikey? Um, we've got uh, the uh, little communicator for uh, uh, that Shredder uses to to call Krang on. Do you see that? Uh, he's holding that, uh, and it's got Krang in the uh, in the little screen there. Um, huh. Yeah, just think this thing is just uh, super detailed. Uh, the action the, the action figures look fantastic. Um, I mean, they've been really killing it with these uh, these four packs, and this isn't obviously this is an eight pack, but uh, I mean, previously, you know, it all started with the uh, the Mirage Turtles that they did, and then for a while they weren't able to do anything, and then what was it? Um, was it last year or the year before where they did the uh, the Mirage um, bad guys? It was basically this set. I mean, without Krang, I think it was Shredder and three Foot Soldiers, if I remember correctly. Um, and now they're doing with the eighty-seven. So it these look absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm man, I I might try to get one of these. I I'm not a hundred percent sure, but uh, man, they they look good. They look really good. So. Uh, take a look, and uh, if you are interested, uh, see uh, see if you can get one. If you do, uh, let us know, because uh, yeah, it says uh, each uh, uh, each day. From, oh, okay, we've got an update here. Actually, each day from uh, June twentieth to June twenty third, NECA will put a set quantity of exclusives up on the NECA store. Uh, Pre-orders will open at one p.m. Uh, Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, each day, and continue for as long as the limited qu quali uh, quantity will last. Uh, once that quantity is sold out, that day's sale is over. So, uh, so okay, so that's good. It's not just one day. It'll be four days, and uh, happy hunting if, uh, if you're going to grab one of these. Uh, I mean, even, I got to think, even... Uh, in the resale market, these things are gonna go. So, even if you if you have a little bit of buyer's remorse and you're not sure if you made a good decision, uh, you're gonna be able to get, I think, a pretty penny for these things on the on the secondary oh, yeah. market. So, um, so good luck to everybody out there. And uh, that's gonna do it for collecting news. Let's go into comics news. I strike two on my way down. Donatello takes out a third with his staff. Already the pudgy ones are starting to panic. Raph loves this stuff. He's not alone. Why is he narrating? Is he crazy? Hardcore crazy. I love these guys! So, free comic book day has come and gone. Did you guys uh, happen to uh, check out Free Comic Book Day at all? Oh, did I miss it? I guess so. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that answers uh, that question real quick. Uh-huh. It yeah. always falls... Mm -hmm. a while ago. It always falls it's, right right around uh, my wife's birthday. So it's, well, always, it's always... You know, you think they do it on a weekend or something, man, like... Well, it was on a. It's it was. Just, it, I think it. It was on a weekend. No, but it was. It week, was on a Monday, wasn't it? Well, my wife's birthday was on a Monday, 
but the uh, comic book day was the weekend prior. So you know who else's birthday was on a Monday? Uh, uh, Solomon Grundy. Yours? I'm giving Ryan shit. He forgot so, my birthday. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Uh, did you do? I mean, did you do some? Stuff? My answer was legit. Did you do some fun stuff on your birthday? So I don't care. Just go. <laughs> Just go. It's fine. Fine. Just go. I think I was. Call uh, on his birthday. I think no, I was okay. knee deep in uh, in uh, baby poop. In nip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dance on the text. That's cool. Takes two seconds to send a text. Whatever. <laughs> Fine. That's my bad. You, you, you weren't, you weren't best man. Fine. Like, oh my god. I know, right? This guy, right? Why am I even here? <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. So yeah. So free comic book day. Turtles came back to free comic book day this year. Uh. We've got a little interview with Kevin, Tom, and Bobby. Uh. As they're uh, promoting. The free comic book today issue, Prelude to Dimension X, which uh, I think we talked about that. Maybe not, but uh, it's basically it's a, a new um, storyline that they're going to be doing for the IDW Turtles. Um, and we've got a little uh, review of it um, as well over at uh, bleedingcool.com. Basically, there's a new, a new villain. His name's Hacker. H A K K dash R. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks like a robotic praying mantis. Hentai. Yeah, very <laughs> hentai. Um, Tiger Claw, he uh, sent us a little interview over on YouTube with uh, the one and only Stan Sakai, a uh, longtime uh, buddy of, of Alex over there. Uh, long time internet buddy, I should say. Internet buddy, you guys are internet yeah. buddies. Yeah, you guys been. Mm-hmm. You guys mm-hmm. been talking for a long time. But uh, yeah, so uh, of course the the big news there is uh, the first uh, Usagi Yojimbo TMNT crossover uh, comic. It's a one shot comic that's uh, being released by IDW. Uh, that is going to be available July twelfth. So uh, this was basically a little promo of, uh, of that. Um, Stan has a uh, exhibit up at the uh, um, the uh, the comics museum over there at the IDW headquarters that Kevin runs. Uh, that's up right now. I'm not sure how long um, it's going to be up there, but uh, I know it's up right now. So I I assume it would be there through uh, Comic Con. So, but. Uh, Speaking of, uh, of which, out now, we've got uh, the IDW series, uh, issue 70, is going to be releasing June 14th. Universe number 10 is, uh, was released May 24th. Uh, issue 11 is coming June 21st. And we just mentioned the Usagi Yojimbo one-shot. I did pre-order that as well, so I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that. One of the few I got a hardcover of. I, I, I don't, uh, I don't do... I don't do uh, I don't do paper comics too much anymore. I'm, I'm mostly digital now, but oh, I did. Oh, I did. did oh, go. Yeah. fancy. Yeah, that was fancy. You still, you're still getting, you're still getting yeah, the, paper, the real deal, right? Paper comics are just so much better, man. It's just so much better. But I see that. I have no, I have I nowhere can't. to put them. I have nowhere to put them. <laughs> it's just so much better. <laughs> see, I, I I need the convenience of of being able to bring them with me. Like on God, the plane, that, dude, on, the, on see, to work and stuff. Like that's yeah, I know. But there's something about having the paper comic in your hand. But now I'm in the in 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 the in in the transitional period where I'm starting to clear out the room and oh. starting to uh, to write because we got to set up a, a, a nursery oh, for snap. for the child. So is this going to be uh, what was the the craft room? No, the craft room is the going to be remain the craft room, which I'm going to split it into uh, an office for me, and then um, and then the uh, other room, the guest room, that is now the Lularo room, which is soon to be the nursery room. Oh, um, sure. But the closet is full of all my shit. Yeah, because that's where all my shit ended up is the yeah. closet. Yeah, yeah, 
just hey, stay just hey. stay single, Darby. You, stay single, you, Darby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you know what happened to mine. It's it's all gone. God, I'm just my, I'm just lying gone. here with all of my stuff. <laughs> it's just here. Oh, yeah. I have all this stuff that's mine. It belongs to me. And it's all out in the open. Yeah. My uh, uh, my uh I don't even have pants on. This is amazing. Well, that's fine. Like you can I, I don't have to have pants on. But my the, <laughs> the wife prefers me to uh, not have pants on. No, that's not true. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> that's not true at all. <laughs> um, she she would prefer that more than seeing my Ninja Turtles uh, figures. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, my stuff my stuff's all gone. My 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 uh, Ninja Turtles slash Star Wars slash Disney slash video game room is unceremoniously destroyed and yeah it's still uh still hard she's but we do have a very easy we do have a very easy fix she told me a very easy fix to all this whole situation just buy a bigger house so i got that going for me so <clears throat> what was that hard. I, I said I, I dude i just I stopped listening to you when you when you start talking over like a minute and a half. So, <laughs> it, it, don't worry, no it's just all sad just stuff. Said. It's just all sad stuff. Don't worry. Yeah, let's 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 Got let's. you about his it. wife again. God, dude. <laughs> climb out, climb out the vat, it, man. Bro. Like you're married, you love her. You're just so friggin' happy. Life's so Ryan, great. We get Ryan, it. Ryan, Ryan's a titty baby, bro. Like get off, man. Ryan's like never experienced true <laughs> conflict in his life ever. <laughs> yeah, I have. Do I buy this expensive thing or do I buy that expensive thing? <laughs> do I buy this bigger <laughs> house? <laughs> bigger house. <laughs> Yeah. Oh do I still God. gush about my wife, or do I still gush about my wife? <laughs> oh, that's an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I do. I do love my wife very much. It, it, hey, she is. She is my. She's my rock. Fantastic. I love yeah. my wife too. The only reason I talk shit is because I know she doesn't listen to the podcast. So <laughs> I just have all the stuff. <laughs> oh man, my stuff. One of these days. One, one, one of these, one, days, one of these days, man. You're gonna meet a woman that's gonna ruin it all. Oh, I'm sure. sure. It's gonna ruin your life for the better. <laughs> <laughs> for the better. Ruin your life. I like. I like better. that. I love it. I like that. That's good. Uh, let finish up the comics here. Uh, IDW Adventures, uh, the Amazing Adventures series is back. Uh, there's a new series uh, or sub series, uh, mini series. Uh, robot animals. Uh, this is basically the mutanimals are maybe going to turn into robots. robots. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> Batman animated TMNT <laughs> Adventures crossover one through six. Uh, have all been released. The trade paperback is coming July 18th. Uh, there was a TMNT Funko Universe one shot that was released on May 3rd. I totally had missed that last time. Uh, I don't, I don't, mostly because I didn't really care. That. Um, Mirage. <laughs> I, I did mention Seriously. this. Did mention this. The Eastman and Laird's Mirage Studios covers hard uh, hardcover is being released the June twenty eighth. I did order that one as well. I'm really looking forward to that. There you go, Alex. There's another another actual paper book I bought. Mm -hmm. um, Tales of the TMNT Volume Eight is uh, out now. Uh, volume nine is still scheduled for July 11th. Um, there's still some question as to if it's actually going to be released on July 11th. This is, uh, the original tales of the TMNT volume two issues 26 through 30. So, uh, we'll see if, uh, that comes out. Alex has all those in paper copy already anyway. So, uh, and then on the Archie front, uh, volume 13 was just released on May 31st. Uh, this is, uh, collecting the original Archie, uh, adventures 55 through 57. No announcement yet for volume 14. And just, uh, note that, uh, the Archie adventure series did go 72 issues. It's currently the longest running, uh, Turtles comic series for a few more weeks because IDW is, uh, about to release 70. And uh, they've already got a special uh, special thing going for for seventy three. So 
Um, that's going to be it for comic book news. Let's uh, go into very short movie news. Yeah, 122, 122 and an 8. 122 and an 8. Terrific. Where the heck is 122 and an 8? You're standing on it, dude. And we're done. Moving on to mutated <laughs> uh, messages. Out of, <laughs> out of the Shadows is now streaming on Amazon Prime. So, uh, yay, yay, okay. And let's go I, on to I, mutated look, messages. I, I, I have, I, real quick, I, haven't, I have yet to watch the movie. I really have. And um, it, I, I have Amazon Prime. Um, and I still have no intention on watching the movie. Is that bad? I probably should. Nope. Right? You should watch out. No, watch out of the shadows. Out of the shadows is a good movie. It's it's a good movie. Stop. It, no, it's, no, it's, because it's see, not, you it's, telling me that might actually screw our relationship for the like. We, we might not be friends. <laughs> like, just be straight up with me. I am. <laughs> I am. It's way better than way better than. You know, what, the Alex, Alex take a trip. You know what, Alex? Okay, here, here's what. If you want to watch it so badly. Just take it. You can stay with me out here in Colorado. We can watch the movie out here in like Colorado, it, yeah. and you might actually yeah. enjoy it. I feel like that might be the only way to actually enjoy I, I, it. That's an option. I feel like that as well. That's an option. Yeah. All right, let's get into so, anyway. mutated messages. Sounds weird when he says it. Sounds weird when you say it. Two bits of feedback from the uh, the 1990 TMNT film director commentary. Uh, with uh, so a surprising one, uh, Kevin, uh, <laughs> sent us some feedback. Yeah, that was uh, that was hilarious. Yeah, he said this is fascinating. <laughs> loved it. So I, that's probably the first time he's ever heard it. So uh, yeah, so that was pretty interesting. I told him, uh, told him uh, we got to get him back on the show soon. And then uh, another li- uh, listener there said, uh, "Thank you so much for uploading." Who said uh, it? The commentary. I'm a. Oh, this is uh, James uh, Harkness. Uh, he says, there "I'm a huge go. fan of this film so much that I'm working on my own parody entitled Senior Citizen Shaolin Simeon." Simeon's. So, it's a. It's a mouthful. That's right? a tongue twister. It that is. is a tongue Senior twister. Senior Citizen Shaolin Simeon's. Um, <laughs> the at odd pod retro. So that's, a, that's another tongue twister. Uh, they have a YouTube uh, review of the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles cassette storybooks. Um, so funny that the, they sent this over because uh, I've actually been planning on doing a little something about those uh, soon. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll get those out there soon. If you guys remember, those are like uh, you can um, kind of read along, you know, with the back in the day when you're little kids, little put in oh, a yeah. cassette and do a little read along with the book and all that. You know, when you hear Michelangelo say "Cowabunga," turn the page. Um, <laughs> Tiger Claw uh, also gave us a, some additional feedback here. He says, "Listen to the last podcast. You forgot to mention that Jaguar." Uh, is going to be in the IDW comic and is female this time. That's true. I did. I did uh, miss that. Uh, that was from when we were reading the uh, that uh, translated from French uh, website thing. So yeah, I did miss that. But uh, yes, thanks for the heads up. I also sent a couple of YouTube videos. One is 18 classic TMNT commercials. And another one is Twitch. Which, Ryan, I've been watching for the past 10 minutes, and it is the greatest video in YouTube history. <laughs> I'm just going to call it that right now. The classic, I've literally the, been watching that for... The commercials? Yeah, and it... Yeah, it's just... It, it's... Wow. It is amazing. <laughs> it really is. I just started watching it. It's amazing. Oh, God, dude. I, I even got to the... I got to the, 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 the chimichangas, apparently, where it's all claymation, and it's like, what? is happening <laughs> all these toy commercials are great michelangelo dressed up as a cowboy and he looks better than the michael bay ninja turtles does he does <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes he said that it, over, is, it so- is some of the it is, oh it is great pop culture really, cast uh-huh. apparently is the channel yeah it is amazing oh the turtle blimp oh that's amazing ryan you have the turtle blimp I did. I did for a hot minute, yes. That's true. 
<laughs> that was the thing that happened. Uh, the other, uh, the other uh, thing that he sent over, the other YouTube video, 24 Reasons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Batman Returns are the same movie. So I, oh, wait, I checked wait. it out. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. I yeah, have seen and that, there's, some, there's some connections, but, I mean, that's like saying, like, oh, this movie and this movie are the same because they both have a hero that defeats the villain. I mean... Sure, like you can you can make connections with any movie, so or any two movies. Yeah. Uh, Vegan Sarni, longtime listener there too, uh, says uh, just watched uh, season four, episode twelve, "The Power Inside Her." That was an exciting episode. It really hit me in the feels. And then uh, watched um, episode twenty three, "Toka vs. the World." Totes Emosh. <laughs> uh, that's good, uh, Luke. At Breeders91, another longtime listener, says, uh, new tat, now I just need a rock steady. That is a legit tat. This is um, this mm-hmm. is That's Bebop. Sweet. This is a, a... I don't know, how would you guys describe this version? I mean, it's, it's reminiscent of the animated 87 yeah. Bebop, but it's like a, almost like a... A stylized version of it, a little bit. It's almost like um, it's almost like if someone were to like tag it, like on a wall, like uh, you know, graffiti a, art. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. a graffiti, it's graffiti art. art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, see, this is how you know Ryan's faced like no issues in his life ever. If what somebody do you call took, stuff that like, people spray? spray paint on the wall, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It does look like graffiti art, though. Yeah. Playing the role of white guy will be Ryan Hurley. <laughs> <laughs> now, Alex, uh, Darby, as the two uh, hosts with tattoos, uh, would would so he got this on his hand, on the top of his hand. Would that hurt mm-hmm, a lot? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that that would hurt. Uh-huh. It's, it's it's not a good time. Yeah, yeah, that's commitment. It, it's commitment for two reasons. First of all, the pain. Second of all, the location. Man, like that's yeah. just fully exposed. So it's that's a lot of commitment right there. So good, good, good on you, mate. Yeah. Um, hey, oh, I don't know the knuckles must have just been. Oh so God, much. yeah, dude. Oh, oh yeah, I see that. Yeah, uh, hey, oh, uh, which is at I that's am. Okay, oh. Three eight five one nine one nine says finally re- finished rewatch of Next Mutation. <laughs> the only good thing about why? the series was why? the masks. <laughs> why do you? Why would you? I see. I tried. I, I did try. I tried to rewatch uh, Next Mutation. And I got two episodes in, and I couldn't do it to myself anymore. I just couldn't do it, man. What? It, it's it's fucking terrible. It's so bad. No idea what you guys are talking about. What's going? <laughs> okay, so the, he sent over a you know like a stock photo with this. What is going mm-hmm. on with Leonardo's lip right there? Uh, like you see his bottom well, lip, you mean the, that, like the, you mean like that the quiver. Obvious fan, like you mean that obvious three D chalk art that a fan drew uh, and added themselves as a turtle into this picture. You mean that thing? <laughs> no, see, Darby. 3D, man, those 3D chalk arts are looking pretty impressive. It's obviously done by a female fan who wished she was a turtle as well and just inserted herself <laughs> into the picture as a turtle. No, see, Darby, that's a, that's a real thing that happened. Uh, no, I didn't know. That, no, that really, is that's not something that actually no, see, exists. No, it's not Darby, something that exists. See, that's, we've, we've talked uh, about this before, Darby. That is a real thing that happened. No, and that's well, not a, a thing real that character. That is fan fiction right there. That is just. I mean, come on, look at those masks. I mean, really, and 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 a turtle that's what he with said. tits. That's the only good thing about mam- the series. Turtles don't have tits. There's, that's that's not a thing. <laughs> no, that's fan fiction. <laughs> Well, he had to figure out some way to show that it was a female, I guess. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, God forbid, like a female voice just implied that she was female. I mean, I mean, if it existed. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, why why can't they sexualize a female turtle? Venus the Milo. Sorry, can't sexualize a female turtle. It's about her having parts of a mammal that would bother me if she existed. <laughs> if she existed. Uh, so I mean, I mean the 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 to, to his point though, to his horrible. point. I mean the the masks are you know I mean they're they're cool. We we've seen them before. So similar ones. 
uh, was it the Inter- Intergalactic Wrestling Federation, right? The, where mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. had they had that similar mask then. Mm. Yep. So, Brian's yeah, favorite, uh, Raphael costume. The ever. black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> right. Leather. You know, Ryan's all about it. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Looking good. <laughs> well, please, um, let's please move on. Yeah, please. let's 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 get out of this uh, <laughs> swirling <laughs> bowl of. It's, offic- um, it's officially the most next mutation talk we've ever had oh, on the show. Yeah, it's rough. All right, uh, so let's go into our main discussion topic of the show. Us, please, please, uh-huh. a moment to reflect. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh shit! I didn't think about anything. <laughs> because- because we love us. We I do mean, love us. It. We do love us. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so we're going to do a little, little retrospective on mm. the Turtle Power podcast. So uh, first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to touch on a couple of stats for you guys. And I haven't gone over this with you yet. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm in a, well, like, in a budget meeting right now. God, rocket science. So I, feel, rocket. I feel like I'm in a fucking budget meeting. All right, guys. So yeah, our ratings are down. So do stats. <laughs> so uh, what episode do you think was downloaded as an audio podcast the most? The one with Kevin interview. First yeah. one. Uh, I, would, I would agree. So this, for some reason, the August 18th, 2015, episode 41, this is the description. We discuss the crazy development in the Nick Turtles backstory and remember that time Raphael punched Hitler in the face. Remember that episode? <laughs> oh, well, it's got so, Hitler on it. So, I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> so it's, got, it's, a big, it's a big draw. Hitler's so hot right now. Yeah. <laughs> big draw right now with Hitler. So I'll, I'll, <laughs> I will say I will say it barely beat out a couple other shows. So it, it, there's a few of them that are right there. So that for some reason though, that is the one that has been downloaded the most in normal MP3 format. Uh, so Ryan, I want you to name this episode "Turtle Power Podcast." Hitler, 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 Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> See, this thing's gonna go gangbusters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want more downloads? You want more downloads? Come on! All right, so <laughs> you want downloads? I'll I'll give you downloads. Um, okay, what about uh, on the YouTube side? Which episode has been uh, viewed the most on YouTube? Oh, this one's easy. It's it's the behind the scenes of the Michael Bay movie. That's, that's the, not an episode. Yeah, no, that's, that's not too. an episode. But that is true. That is our most viewed video on on YouTube <laughs> by far. Um, spoiler cast then. You the spoiler cast? If I had to guess, for which movie? Uh, first one. That is correct. That Hello. is correct. That is the number one uh, most uh, most watched video on YouTube. That is correct. We have uh, a total, if if you include all of the videos and all of the... Uh, right about how pathetically low our numbers are now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that is a little bit of a side effect of not being able to re- record all the time, but... Uh, uh, yeah, right? we, we have had uh, almost half a million downloads or views total. Woo. So we're very close to half a million. Uh, so beyond the stats, I uh, wanted to talk about some favorite moments or just at least some, some highlights, if you will. So I uh, figured I'd just kind of go down my list here. Uh, episode one started off. I was by myself. It was very scary and uh, really bad. So I brought you two also, on. Also, also, just to add on to that, um, it's the only episode that received uh, under five star review on uh, iTunes. <laughs> true. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, you remember that? The guy was like, "Man, that was really bad. You should probably." 
completely rethink your choices in life. <laughs> I was like, damn. Um, like, listen, to, like, that was already, like, we had already had, like, episode, like, seven or eight at that point. And I was like, listen to another one, man. Give us a try. And he's like, no, nope, screw you. I already tried one. <laughs> nope, nope. I started at one, and now I'm done. Yeah, just, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, brought you guys on uh, right in episode two. So you guys have been here basically the whole way. Uh, in episode six and seven, we had uh, the premiere of Nick Turtles, as well as a rundown of the Ninja Turtles Blue Door leak script. You know, remember that? Oh, my God. Well, you read the entire <laughs> oh, script. God. We went, we went so over the entire the script. Entire script. Why and, uh, did people listen to that? So, so here's the thing, right? Would that have been a better movie? Than the one we got? Uh, uh, no. No, I think they both, they, they both would be equally as shitty. Aliens, no. <laughs> Aliens, no. But at least the, mo- the, the story no. connected better. Let's call it that. Did it? I, think I so. don't remember. I think so. I mostly just remember Leo picking up an unconscious Mikey and using him as a shield while they were being shot at, which I thought was brilliant. So brilliant that that actually, you know what, that one scene, yeah, that would have made it better than the entire Michael Bay movie. Never mind. I take back my statement. <laughs> well, that that scene, the whole, you know, uh, in the in the snow with the trucks and all that stuff, I mean, that's that's one of the main items from that original leaked script that did make it into the film, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was it would have been a lot different movie because it had Casey and April as is kind of the uh, the main characters. Except, main character, except for the fact that the the movie that we did get, April was basically the main character. It was April and Vernon. So we well, gotta save Casey for the sequel. Duh. Yeah, save Casey for the sequel, and then just completely ruin his character. <laughs> Hopes and dreams, right? Yep. 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 Uh, episode 10 was our uh, TMNT video game retrospective with Mitch, uh, Mitchie D. Mitchie D. Uh, Mitch Dyer, formerly of IGN, now making Star Wars video games. Mitch Dyer. Uh, nice. When I was at Celebration, um, we, I was at the Battlefront 2 uh, premiere panel and. Uh, we're, we're sitting there, we're watching, and then like they stream the whole thing except for special things that they only want just that audience to see. So they shut the cameras off, and then they start playing this behind the scenes video. And there he is, right, right on the giant screen, right in front of us. So I, uh, all right, Mitch, Mitch, buddy, if you're listening, Star Wars games, cool. Knights of the Old Republic three, do it, <laughs> do it. Knights of the Old Republic three, do it, do it. Do it. Do it now. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot to talk about since that, that episode, but um, as far right. as Ninja Turtle video games, but uh, hopefully someday. We talked about that in our last episode. So, the future of TMNT video games. Big question Ugh. mark. Huge uh, question mark. Episode 13 and 14, we were joined by Randall Lobb from the Turtle Power documentary. Oh, yeah. That was a, that was a fun one. That's when uh, Darby was super late, right? Uh, uh, did he even make yeah, it? Quite a bit. Or, or did you? Did you? I think maybe you called in like right when he hung up. I think it may have been. No, no, that was somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that was somebody else that happened with. Uh, um, <laughs> oh man! Uh, episode uh, sixteen and seventeen was one of our many. San Diego Comic Con recaps. I mean, it's a it's an annual thing for us. Every every year we uh, we recap all the news from San Diego Comic Con. Except for that year, we were joined by the one and only Toka. That was, oh, that was a fun episode. Oh, TMNT, TMNT super fan Toka. Toka uh, was love the of, guy. Hands love down, the guy. one of my favorite interviews we've ever done. Love Toka. The guy. I just liked when Ryan had the gall to ask him who his favorite turtle was, and Toka was like, "Really, dude?" He's <laughs> <laughs> like, "I wonder what a guy who goes by Toka. I wonder who his favorite turtle is." I mean, that I was the best. yeah, I guess I walked into that one. 
I meant totally. of the four Ninja Turtles, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Good point. Uh, episode 19 was the creation of hashtag Turtle Nostrils. Oh, uh, okay. as, as well as my appearance on uh, Jay and Silent Bob Get Old. Episode 25 had... Uh, uh, so when we were joined by IDW TMNT editor Bobby Curnow. Bobby Curnow, yeah. That guy was cool. Yeah. Yeah, he was really cool. Uh, episode 28 was, uh, we were joined by Andrew Farrago. It's author of the, uh, he was author of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Visual History. Uh, I think he just finished a uh, history book on the Peanuts Uh comics nice yeah i think i just saw that because you know we're friends on facebook and everything so he just put that uh episode 29 i was uh that was when i had the honor of interviewing rob paulson townsend coleman cam clark and barry gordon uh of course the the 1987 turtles voice cast uh when the they what? Vis- when they what? Vis- wait what year the 1987 TMNT animated. Okay, I thought you said 90. I couldn't let that slide. No, 87, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, uh, when they uh, visited the Nickelodeon Suites Resort uh, for the TMNT Retro Weekend. Um, funny that the they had a Retro Weekend and the uh, all the actors came, but they could never do a Nick Turtles Weekend because none of those actors would ever come. I just <laughs> And I wonder, and you wonder why the, the, the resort... Uh, went out of business. Um, also, just to give you an idea, that's when our first track of uh, from the Shell Shocked uh, album was played. It was all the way back then on episode twenty nine. We are still we are still chugging out those tunes. Uh, Brian's like, thank God I found this album. <laughs> yeah, big time. Uh, episode thirty two. Uh, I already mentioned that. That's our twenty fourteen Platinum Dunes TMNT movie spoiler cast. Episode 33, that's uh, when we had the Guinness World uh, Record for most people dressed as uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at the Nickelodeon Suites Resort. That was, uh, that was an interesting interesting weekend there. Um, episode 38, uh, our first uh, pleasure of, of uh, having Kevin Eastman on the show. Um, he was also, uh, on episode 43 as well. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we got to get him on here soon because, uh, this has been too long. Um, I love how, I love how, uh, Kevin came in, like we were just mid conversation and we just hear like, hello, hello. And we're like, <laughs> Hey, who, who is this? And he's like, it, it's Kevin. And we're like, Oh fuck. It's Kevin. Hi. <laughs> We, I will say, we, I, I remember on that first episode, we were pretty nervous, but uh, um, we, we, we had our stuff down by the time he was on the second time. We, we were, we were, we were much cooler second time. At least I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, (laughs) uh, Episode thirty nine, we had James Arnold Taylor, of course the. you know, another, another guy that's a uh, legend voice actor. Uh, of course, he was the voice of Leonardo in the uh, 2007 film TMNT. The greatest Leo quotes of all time said by him. <laughs> uh, I, I can't argue. I can't argue. Uh, by the way, check, check out the um, Jat Show. Um, if, you, if you look up James Arnold Taylor, he's, uh, he's doing a lot on YouTube now. And uh, he does a... Uh, he does a, uh, a little quote every day as well to uh, to kind of help you stay positive. Oh, words of wisdom. So yeah, there you go. That, <laughs> hey, there we go. Maybe maybe Jat should be filling out the uh, the splinter quotes. Get That's, some actual words of wisdom out there. Yeah, I like where he has that. I'll run that by him next time. Episode forty four was our TMNT out of the shadows. The movie, not the video game. Uh, trailer one breakdown. Episode forty-five. We went over our top five songs of TMNT. Do you guys remember that? It's power. It's power number one. <laughs> uh, TMNT out of the shadows. Spoiler cast was episode forty-eight. Uh, Forty-nine was the release of Mutants in Manhattan. 
and the five TMNT crossovers that need to happen, and in some cases did happen because Ryan said they were going to happen, and that's why we had TMNT WWE action figures, and why we're still getting new ones that are just about to come out. You're welcome. You're welcome. Clearly uh, somebody at, at, in the WWE listens to our podcast and thought that'd be a great idea. Uh, uh, episode yeah, 51, uh, we had the, uh, the pleasure of uh, John Lees and Nick Patara. That's, uh, of course, the writer and artist, uh, respectively, for uh, TMT Universe Issue 6. And I believe uh, Nick just got uh, some work on... Uh, Gosh, what is it? He's he's doing some more covers, I think, for Turtles. I can't remember which uh, which issues it is, but I, I I remember just seeing his name. He's maybe it's for um, maybe it's for that uh, Dimension X series. I can't remember. Um, but uh, so you know, beyond all the episodes, uh, it, it was really cool to record with Alex in person over at uh, over at his in laws' house. That was fun. Um, the audio was terrible, but yeah, that was fun. <laughs> the audio was absolutely god awful in that episode, man. The uh, we had the Turtles three uh, going <laughs> simultaneously. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Turtles three <laughs> with Lord, the best part Lord of that Lord Portillos. Yes, we we enjoyed some Portillos uh, right mm. beforehand, uh, and then we went and hit up a comic shop afterwards. After we recorded, that's right. and then uh, had some had some cerveza. That's uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Afterward, and then um, about that. and then uh, of course our last episode finally got to record with Darby in person uh, at uh, at his uh, at my hotel in Denver because uh, it's the first time I ever went out to Denver. So it was great spending time with uh, with Darby out there. And yeah, um, I, w- I was really glad to see Ryan until he put his top knot in and. And then it was like, God, isn't yeah. it terrible, dude? Like, I, it's I, horrible. <laughs> it is just, it is, it's why. It's just, dude, I, I, I thought this was a phase. I thought it would have been done by now. Like, <laughs> oh, God, just nothing would make why? me happier than just like dropping there all over your head. Oh, like, come on. Look. So- or, or, It'll take both of us to pin him down and like just to come at him with shears or something. <laughs> when just when... can't be happy about it. She has to be lying to you right now, man. So <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't care. She's got a baby to look at. She's happy. Yeah. That is very true. That is a very good That's point. That's very true. Yeah. Um actually she so yeah. Know so what Ryan looks like anymore. Notice the way that Darby put it is that until he put his top knot in, because when I saw Darby at first I had a hat on. And uh, and so I took the hat off and I didn't have the top knot and my, all the hair just came flowing down, cascading down yeah, like cascading Clay Matthews like style. And I'm just like yeah, this dude with his hair. <laughs> <laughs> so. I wouldn't mind the hair as well, but he, then he put it up in the top knot and it was like just why. So uh, yeah, so you know beyond uh, you know those experiences, uh, you know, definitely want to say thanks to all the listeners. Over the years that have uh, stuck with us, and um, you know, we like I said uh, in our last episode, you know, it's 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 tough with uh, you know the family situation right now with with getting together and the timing and the schedules. Alex is working like a like a crazy person right now, and he's about to have a, a baby as well. Well, his wife's about to have a baby. He's gonna. Stand there, and father it. I'm gonna father it. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna do the father. <laughs> what is, I don't know what that means, but I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> uh, and uh, and then, you know, Darby's busy working too, so um, it's uh, you know, it's it's tough to uh, uh, to get everything worked out, but uh, you know, fingers crossed, we can keep this uh, this ship uh, afloat and uh, and keep going. So uh, yeah. I mean, we've had uh, we've had some shitty podcasts, you know, in the past, some shitty episodes for sure. So you guys have stuck uh, stuck with us through through the shit. So we appreciate that. This for a- sure. this episode, for example, definitely. Um, <laughs> it started out good. It started, I thought it was oh yeah, it great. starts out great. Did you guys have any? Uh, did you guys have anything else that you wanted to uh, mention? My no. favorite moment ever. My favorite moment ever isn't even 
uh, Ryan edited it out because it's he the took most it away. Brilliant. He took oh, it away. Geez. It's my it's mine too. It's, it's my too. It's the most brilliant moment in Turtle Power podcast history, and it's gone. He's such a fucking slick pride. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, God, it's gone forever. Ah, I hate you for that, man. Uh, God. <laughs> Let's let's call and then, it. And, uh, and then you tease us. Then you tease us with like a, a blooper reel. And both Darby and I are fully expecting it to be on there, and it's not on there. <laughs> We're waiting for like the forty-five minutes of me and Alex just ragging on you, and it just wasn't even there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know it's what gone. what happened to it. It's uh, it's gone to the ether. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How convenient. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> But uh, uh, yeah, my face yeah. still hurts when I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't picked up on it, it's basically had a little bit of a had a little bit of a lisp at uh, during <laughs> a certain <laughs> sentence that was being uh, verbalized from my mouth, and uh, it was also just how you tried to sound tough while you were saying, "Let's go kick some ass." And the fact that you put a th at the end of yeah. ass just made it the greatest thing ever recorded. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I did, actually did forget about the uh, the setup with it. So yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, good. you were quoting Leo. I remember. The, the I setup remember. was the most important part. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Guys, uh, let's go kick some ass. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I promise I'll leave this one in there. That was great. So, uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode of the Turtle Power Podcast. Song of the show is going to be Star Turtles to the Wrath of Man, arranged by the Snuggle Men. Uh, ooh, the Snuggle Men. <laughs> Uncle Men. Mm. Uh, and the source Just is. Proud. <laughs> Star, uh, the source is Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. Of course. Nice. Stage nine course. background music. As well as, oh, there's a couple. There's a couple of uh, sources here. The theme of okay. Half Shell from uh, TMNT3 Manhattan Project. As well as Sky Palace and Tournament Opening from Tournament Fighters. Tournament Fighters. Oh, this is going to be a good yeah. one. I'm looking forward to listening to this one. Mm-hmm. It's track six off of disc two from Shell Shocked. All right. Shell Shocked. Dot ocremix.org. I think I have that memorized by now. Guys, thank you so much for joining me once again on another epic epic episode. Is that can you, is that okay? Yeah. Epic episode of the Turtle Power Podcast. Woo! For AF. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Darby and Alex. <laughs> this is Ryan, and we'll talk to you next time. Yeah.
Hey guys, make sure to check us out on our official website, www.turtlepowerpodcast.com. Also, follow us on Twitter at TMNT Podcast. You can follow me, Ryan, at Big Don Pat. Follow me, Alex, at A Rodriguez 2005. Follow me, Darby, at Darby T. Patton. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Turtle Power Podcast. Make sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash Turtle Power Podcast. And also share your feedback with us via old fashioned email, turtlepowerpodcast at gmail.com. Subscribe and rate us on iTunes. And don't forget to subscribe and listen on Stitcher.